Imagine a world where seashells grow to a specific mathematical ratio, where sunflowers arrange their seeds in perfect spirals dictated by an invisible force. These mathematical constants, like the golden ratio and Fibonacci sequence, appear with surprising frequency in the natural world. They govern the growth patterns of plants, the proportions of animals, and even the arrangement of galaxies. The discovery of these recurring ratios shocked the ancient Greeks. Join me as we journey to unlock the mysteries of these universal ratios. The story of universal ratios begins in ancient Greece, where mathematicians and philosophers were captivated by the concept of beauty and harmony. Pythagoras, the renowned mathematician, believed that numbers held the key to understanding the universe. He and his followers observed that pleasing musical intervals corresponded to simple mathematical ratios. This discovery led them to explore the existence of similar ratios in other aspects of nature and art. Euclid, another Greek mathematician, formally defined the golden ratio in his influential work, Elements. He described it as the division of a line segment into two parts, such that the ratio of the longer part to the shorter part is equal to the ratio of the whole segment to the longer part. This elegant definition laid the groundwork for centuries of mathematical exploration and artistic inspiration. Across the globe, in ancient India, mathematicians were independently developing sophisticated mathematical concepts, including the Fibonacci sequence. This sequence, in which each number is the sum of the two preceding ones, exhibits a remarkable connection to the golden ratio. As the numbers in the Fibonacci sequence increase, the ratio between consecutive terms approaches the golden ratio. From the Parthenon in Greece to the Taj Mahal in India, the influence of universal ratios can be seen in some of the world's most iconic structures. The golden ratio, often dubbed nature's secret code, pops up in the most unexpected places. Take a look at a sunflower. Its seeds aren't randomly scattered, they're arranged in two sets of spirals, one clockwise, one counterclockwise. Count the spirals in each direction, you'll often find consecutive Fibonacci numbers. This arrangement, driven by the golden ratio, allows for the most efficient packing of seeds within the flower head. But the golden ratio's influence extends far beyond the humble sunflower. It's found in the elegant spirals of nautilus shells, the branching patterns of trees, and even the proportions of the human body. Leonardo da Vinci, the quintessential Renaissance man, was fascinated by the golden ratio and its connection to human anatomy. His famous Vitruvian Man illustration depicts the ideal human proportions with the golden ratio evident in the relationship between different body parts. The golden ratio's appearance in nature isn't just a matter of aesthetic coincidence, it often serves a functional purpose, optimizing growth, efficiency, and stability. This hidden harmony, governed by the golden ratio and other universal ratios, continues to fascinate scientists and mathematicians. Let's turn our attention to another fascinating mathematical sequence, the Fibonacci sequence. Named after the Italian mathematician Leonardo Fibonacci, this sequence might seem simple at first glance, but it holds hidden depths that ripple through various natural phenomena. Recall that each number in the sequence is the sum of the two preceding ones, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, and so on. Notice the spiral patterns formed by pinecone scales? Count them. You'll likely find a Fibonacci number. The same goes for the spirals on a pineapple, the arrangement of petals in a rose, and even the branching patterns of some trees. The Fibonacci sequence, with its inherent connection to the golden ratio, provides an efficient and elegant solution for packing structures in a limited space. The Fibonacci spiral, a visual representation of the Fibonacci sequence, appears in the natural world with astonishing frequency. This spiral can be observed in the shape of nautilus shells, the arrangement of seeds in a sunflower, and even the structure of hurricanes. The connection between the Fibonacci sequence and natural phenomena goes beyond mere aesthetics. It reflects an underlying principle of efficient growth and organization. Universal ratios aren't confined to the natural world. They've also played a pivotal role in human artistic expression. One such example is the rule of thirds, a compositional guideline derived from the golden ratio. This rule suggests dividing an image into nine equal parts using two equally spaced horizontal lines and two equally spaced vertical lines. The points where these lines intersect are considered power points. 
Placing important elements of your composition at these points creates a more balanced and visually appealing image. The rule of thirds is widely used in painting, photography, and filmmaking to create a sense of harmony and guide the viewer's eye through the image. The points of intersection in the rule of thirds grid approximate the points of golden section division within the frame. The rule of thirds is a testament to the enduring power of universal ratios, bridging the gap between mathematics and art. Music, often considered the universal language, might seem far removed from the world of mathematics. But beneath the surface of melodies and harmonies lies a hidden world of mathematical ratios. As Pythagoras and his followers discovered centuries ago, pleasing musical intervals correspond to simple mathematical ratios. For instance, the octave, a fundamental musical interval, corresponds to a ratio of 2 to 1, meaning that the frequency of the higher note is twice that of the lower note. The perfect fifth, another harmonious interval, corresponds to a ratio of 3 to 2, while the perfect fourth corresponds to a ratio of 4 to 3. These simple ratios create the building blocks of musical scales and chords, forming the foundation of Western musical harmony. The golden ratio also makes a subtle appearance in music. Some composers have incorporated the golden ratio into the proportions of their compositions, using it to determine the duration of notes, the placement of climaxes, and the overall structure of the piece. From the simple ratios of musical intervals to the more complex applications of the golden ratio, music reveals the hidden language of mathematics. Our journey through the world of universal ratios takes us now to the grandest stage of all, the cosmos. Just as these ratios govern the growth patterns of a humble sunflower, they also appear to influence the structure and behavior of celestial objects. Astronomers have observed that galaxies, including our own Milky Way, often exhibit spiral arms that follow the patterns of the Fibonacci spiral. This suggests that the same mathematical principles that govern growth and organization on Earth might also be at play on a cosmic scale. The golden ratio has also been detected in the orbital resonances of planets and moons within our solar system. These resonances occur when the orbital periods of two celestial bodies are in a simple mathematical ratio, leading to gravitational interactions that influence their orbits. By understanding the mathematical principles that govern the cosmos, we can gain a deeper appreciation for our place in the grand scheme of things. From the spirals of a seashell to the grandeur of a spiral galaxy, universal ratios have captivated mathematicians, artists, and philosophers for centuries. But what is it about these mathematical concepts that continues to fascinate us? Perhaps it's the elegance and simplicity of these ratios, the way they emerge from seemingly complex systems to reveal a hidden order. Or maybe it's the sense of wonder and awe they evoke, reminding us that the universe is full of surprises and hidden connections. The enduring allure of universal ratios lies in their ability to connect us to something larger than ourselves. They offer a glimpse into the underlying fabric of the cosmos, suggesting that there's more to reality than meets the eye. The study of universal ratios encourages us to look for patterns, to seek connections, and to appreciate the beauty of the natural world. The ubiquity of universal ratios raises intriguing questions about the nature of reality and our place within it. Some see these ratios as evidence of a divine creator, a cosmic architect who embedded these mathematical principles into the very fabric of the universe. Others view them as a testament to the power of evolution, with natural selection favoring organisms and structures that adhere to these efficient and stable patterns. Regardless of one's beliefs, the prevalence of universal ratios prompts us to consider the deeper implications of these mathematical concepts. The beauty of universal ratios lies not only in their mathematical elegance, but also in their ability to spark our curiosity and inspire us to ponder the mysteries of existence. As we venture further into the 21st century, the influence of universal ratios continues to shape our world in profound ways. Architects and designers are incorporating these principles into their creations, resulting in buildings and structures that are both aesthetically pleasing and environmentally sustainable. Artists and musicians continue to draw inspiration from these ratios, using them to create works that resonate with audiences on a deep, intuitive level. 
In the field of technology, researchers are exploring the potential of universal ratios to optimize algorithms, improve data compression, and develop new materials with enhanced properties. The study of universal ratios is not merely an academic pursuit, it's a field with real-world applications that have the potential to shape our future. By understanding and harnessing the power of these mathematical principles, we can unlock new possibilities in science, technology, art, and beyond.